Okay, can you guys see me now? Am I back? I'm hoping you can see me. Am I back? I think I'm back. Okay. Um, yes, it wouldn't let me connect to the other one, and I'm not sure why. It would not let me connect. Okay. So we're back. And um, these uh, markers, I, I'd say they're, I mean, they're good. I mean, they're a really decent, a really decent marker. I mean, would I throw away my Artezas? Absolutely not. Um, if these are the only ones that you find that are prime available, I would get them. Uh, but yeah, I think they're uh, really, really, really cool. And I'm really excited because I'm going to keep them in my, my little skull um, container that I 3D printed, which I love. Um, they are 1989. I got them, um, well, I didn't get them. They were actually sent to me um, a while ago. Uh, but I just checked the most recent Amazon price and they're $19.89. Um, not something, hi Belinda, not something that I'm planning on carrying, but you never know. I'm actually gonna do that right now, Ivy. So you guys all know that it's my, it is my birthday month. So can you guess what the theme of the stamp of the month might be? Can anyone guess what that theme might be? Let me move some stuff out of the way here. Oh, we sure could. That's a great idea. Okay. So, the Stamp Club is this really fun and really funky birthday cake. So, I'm really excited because we can always use birthday stamps, I mean, birthday stamps, right? So, the Stamp of the Month is this really fun and funky birthday cake, which was illustrated by our very talented illustrator, Chuck. And, of course, it says happy birthday. Um, we're going to stamp it out and we're going to color it because I think that is super duper fun. Um, oh, wow, Angela. I think I did know that. I think I knew that she, her birthday was very close to mine. Oh, this is something else that I printed on the 3D printer. Um, I made this for Courtney, who is our distribution manager. You guys know Courtney. Um, it is, I still have to clean it out, um, but it is a golden snitch um, cookie cutter. It is a golden snitch cookie cutter. Yep. But I just had to show you that real quick. Um, oh, it does, Mel Bell. That is very, very true. That's 100% true. So, so cool. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp this out and let's take a look at it, shall we? So I'm going to grab a piece of the Brutus Monroe um, watercolor paper, the aqua pigment paper, and I'm going to grab, now remember to stay tuned for all sorts of deals and giveaways and prizes all month long. There's not going to be a single day that we don't have something fun happening. Except for today, because it's April Fool's Day, so I decided not to do anything today, because I thought that you guys would think that I was tricking you. <laughs> so today was not the day to start any craziness, because I didn't want you guys to think I was tricking you. So I've decided that this is going to be my new stamp-off paper. Um, embossing powder of the month, I believe I'm doing tomorrow. I'm not sure. I know that the... The... Um, the Inspiration box is going to be, I think, next week only because of the birthday box. Oh, look at how fun that is. We only needed to stamp it once, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp it on our watercolor paper. Okay. My birthday is April 13th. I will be 34. 34 years old. All right, so let's go ahead and move that out of the way. And we're going to pop this right in the center, because why not? Oh, one of my best friends from high school is... Um, oh, I shifted that a little bit, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. 
my cake stamp. I feel like I've pasted so many times with the tulips. Oh, and just so you guys know, just so you guys know, I'm really excited to announce this because it just happened today. So, um, Louis Sana actually colored, digitally colored the image for us for this month. And it's going to be on every single label of every single box that gets shipped out. So I think that's really, really exciting. So when you get your box, take a look at the label because Louisana's beautiful coloring is on the label. And I didn't tell her that because I didn't want her to feel pressured, but her coloring of her wreath is going to be on every single box that gets shipped out. <sighs> oh yeah, right, Kara? Okay. Yeah, she didn't know that yet. <laughs> I didn't tell her that when I asked her to uh when I asked her to color it. <laughs> but yes, she uh it will be on the, the cover of every single box that goes out. <laughs> well, I didn't want to tell you right away, Louisa, because you would say that it's I, it was a lot of pressure. I know you. So I didn't tell you. <laughs> okay. She did a beautiful job. Um, yes, I'm going to do the review on the birthday box. I think that's next week as well. It's going to all happen really quickly. So I'm going to go in, and again, these are the new markers. I just want to kind of give them a, a full review. I'm not in love with this water brush. Again, like I said, I'm really, really hard on water brushes only because we have our own. And I tested out, you know, quite a few water brushes before I decided which one we were going to go with. Um, so if I were to sign up for the club today, uh, you would get this one. Yep. Our stamp club is different than it used to be. The way our stamp club used to be was you would get the stamp of the month the following month. Now you get the stamp right away as soon as you sign up. So if you sign up, if you were to sign up right now for our $5 level stamp club, this is the one that you would get. Now, I will say that I think there's only a handful of spots left because we had so many people extra sign up last month. Um, I'm going to add, I think I want the darkness to be under the icing. So let's just add a little bit more right here. So yeah, so it's different than it used to be. And we made that change, I think, a, uh, like a year ago. <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely um, get in, you guys, if you haven't already signed up for it, because um, the $5 Stamp Club, soon there's going to be a change with that. Don't worry, everybody that's signed up for it now is grandfathered in, but uh, you'll see there is going to be a, a change that's made to it, um, of course, for folks that aren't already grandfathered in. Just a little change because the the postage of, has changed. But of course, all of our all of our friends that are already grandfathered in, um, that change won't affect you. So on this one, I'm gonna start. I do. Who was that? Heidi. I love um, the brushes that I'm testing came with this set. Oh yeah, your your coloring, Luisana, will be literally, I mean, it'll be in Portugal, it'll be in China, it will be in Australia, it will be in Switzerland. Um I'm trying to think, we ship, I mean, all over the world. I know when there was only around 25 stamp club spots. Now it's we'll just say it's a lot more than that. <laughs> Post about approved the page of sales hello. Oh, I'll have to take a look, Ivy. You are going international. You sure are. I mean, this brush is getting a little bit better as I'm using it. It's just the problem is it's not really flowing the way, um, yes, you subscription addicts will be grandfathered in. It's not a huge change. It's just, and it's probably not going to happen for a couple of months. Um, but we just have to, we have to judge things just a little bit. That's all. Yeah, I mean, it's literally $5, and you get a 2 by 3 stamp every month. And just so you guys know, we have some really cool um, 
we have some really cool new perks coming up for subscribers. Did you guys know, this is something I want to talk to you about because Michael and I talked about this earlier today. Um, did you guys know how, how crazy awesome our Brutus Bucks program is? I did not realize how crazy awesome it was until I was looking at some other people's um, rewards program today. Uh, Michael and I were looking at some other people's rewards programs. We, I love our rewards program. I mean, my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. When I was looking at what, um, what you get with our rewards program in comparison to a lot of the other rewards programs out there that I saw, I said, holy cannoli, Batman. It is crazy how awesome our rewards program is. Like, I was astonished when I was looking at other people's rewards programs and I was like, oh, well, let's see. Can we change something and do something better with ours? Then when I looked at the other programs out there, I was like, oh my goodness, that is crazy. Like, that is absolutely crazy how awesome that program is. And we've just added new tiers. Did you guys see the new tier for the um, six by eight stamp? I think that's my favorite tier so far. Okay, let's do some turquoise icing because I think that'll be cool. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to focus all most of our pigment on this line here because that will create the separation um, of the light and dark for the cake. So we'll start there. Well, I was just looking at them and it's no, you know, no, um, there's no, you know, disrespect to any other company. But when I was looking at some of the other reward programs, I was like, oh my goodness, you have to spend this much to get this much. And ours, you have to spend, I mean, I think much, much less. Well, I know much, much less than the other companies. Because when I was looking at it, I was like, oh my goodness gracious. I thought that we weren't, we weren't given enough. <laughs> I thought that we weren't. And I was like, oh, well, now I take that all back. I think our program is really, really cool. Plus... The, if you're a subscriber, you get double points. I mean, come on. That's crazy. That's awesome. Really awesome. Yeah, this blue, this it moves really, really well. Um, the birthday points are now automatic dawn. We had an issue. Um we we had an issue. You were talking about kind of cool. Yeah, ours is one point for dollar spent, but I think that our, I think our first tier, um, so, oh wait, who said new tier? Jerry, there, if you go to the Brutus Box page, there's now a new tier. Um, there's two new tiers. There's a free shipping tier, and there is a, um, there's a free stamp tier, and we're working on new tiers all the time. Michael and I were just working on new tiers the other day, actually. Because sometimes you don't want to get, you know, you don't necessarily just want to get a coupon for money off. Sometimes you just want to trade it in for a lower level and you can get a free stamp. Like, we're going to do all sorts of new free things. I'm not sure about all. I only looked at two companies in particular, and they're really big companies. And, um... I was shocked. I did not look at Catherine's, though. I will admit that. I did not look at hers. I didn't even know she had a reward program. That's really cool. Hola! All right, so let's go on in and add some color now to this guy. Sorry, I know I'm off the screen a little bit, but I'm trying to just stay on the screen while I'm coloring. And I really want to grab my marker, but I can't because I am... I know, isn't he awesome? Michael is great. He's been he's been really really uh, rocking and rolling and adding new things and um, he's a fresh mind and a very welcomed fresh mind to the way that um, you know Brutus and Row, uh works and you know sometimes you just need a fresh mind on things. All right, so there's that. So let's do. For the candle, oh, bah, 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 bah. maybe we'll do some little, a little bit of gray. And we're just going to color this in full on with the gray. I don't think we need to judge it on at all. 
Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna do something fun with the candle. So the inside of the candle will be this. Oh, good, Dawn. What kind of envelopes are you making? And then we're gonna add in a little bit of yellow and then I'm going to add, this is my favorite thing to do with these brush markers. And you can do this also with an alcohol marker. You just want to give more pressure on the inside and then really brush it out really well. And it's going to create really, it's gonna look like this candle is really lit and giving off a beautiful glow. Um, these are the Craftian markers. I am trying them out today. They were sent to me. Kara, how long ago would you say these were sent to me? Kara actually handles all of the Christopher Allen side of things, and they actually messaged the Christopher Allen page. Um, that's how they were sent to me. All right, so we're going to add that, and then we're going to take a little bit of... The orange, we're gonna do the same thing. Making up a whole bunch of things. See, I love doing that, Dawn. Are you using an envelope punch board or are you using a template? How are you doing them? I wish my sister was on here tonight so she could tell about what she was up to. Um, uh, you should have seen what, uh, what she was up to trying to make envelopes the other day. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh yeah, four months ago. And we're just finally getting around to it. <laughs> oh, I love using the punch board. So that's, uh, what that looks like. And then of course, what you can do is you can go in and just take your water brush and all we're doing is we're just gently flicking out into the same motion. This is going to take away some of those harsh lines since I added in the um, orange. And we're just going to zhuzh out. And this makes it really easy and really fun. Now, of course, this is a very exaggerated glow. I think exaggerated is fun, though, as you guys know. Oh, Sue. <laughs> yep, short end. Speaking of which, speaking of product, we have a whole bunch of more stuff coming from Thermoweb that just shipped today. I just saw. Oh, that's a great idea, Kim. I didn't even think about that. Using the glitter drops for the flame. That's a great idea. Uh-oh. Hold on. Gotta plug my phone in. Bear with me, guys. Just got to plug my phone in. It's because the battery said it was dying. Now, of course, you could take this even further and really, really add some water and zhuzh this out. So it's completely up to you. I mean, go as far as you want with it, as far as you see fit. It's obviously your own ending to create. Yes. And you just want to kind of make sure that it's going, it's all going out as far as the rest. You, of course, can use, I mean, do this however you would like. Can you give me the info to where we signed up projects for? Oh, for the guest design team? Is that what you're asking, Ivy? You would send them to Marie. Um, but I don't know that her new email has been set up yet, but it's going to be marie at brutusmonroe.com. I don't know if it's all been set up completely yet. All right. So I think that that very exaggerated um, 
That is a very exaggerated flame, and I love that. That's kind of the way I love to do my art, is very, very exaggerated and very, very over the top, as most of you guys have probably noticed. <laughs> but I think the, the flame from the candle is the star of the show on this one. I think that's so cool. Um, absolutely, Sue. I would love that. So there is the stamp of the month. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow to the bottom of it because shadowing is my absolute favorite. If you took my watercolor um, 101 class, we talked about how important shadowing um, is and can be to your card making. Um, we are going to be offering that class again at the end of this month. So if you did not get a chance to take my um, watercolor slash aqua pigments 101 class, we are going to be doing that again. Um, because there were a lot of you that were unable, unfortunately, to get into that class. It filled up really, 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 really quickly. Um, but it is something that I think we should definitely, definitely do again. And as you guys can imagine, since this is a very large cake, it's going to need, um, in that very, very large flame, it's going to need quite the shadow on it. So we're going to start with the shadow right under the cake, and um, we're going to zhuzh that shadow up here a little bit. We're going to pretend that that shadow starts back here, and then we are going to bring that down. Make sure we grasp that center layer. That is the most important, and then the lightest is going to be the top layer. So just zhuzh that out. And the one thing I'm noticing about this black is very similar to the Arteza black that I'm seeing quite a bit of um, blue in there, but that's good. Hi, Tiffany. Thank you, Heidi. And of course, this one will probably be brought out a little bit more, and I would just, you know, fiddle around with this until I, until I loved it, which could be forever, because um, <laughs> it takes forever. Um, Oh, thank you, Tiffany. Uh, so yeah, so this was just a quick, uh, I wanted to try out these markers. I would say that they definitely, um, they're definitely really cool and something that I would suggest grabbing um, for the price point. Again, like I said, would I throw away my Artezas? Absolutely not. Um, but I just, I mean, I want to try something new. And of course, they fit really great in my new 3D printed skull holder. So I thought that that, um, yeah, I thought that's so cool. A lot of fun. So yeah, so that's all I have for you guys tonight. Does anybody have any questions for me? I'm going to turn on the 3D printer to get it ready because I have to go. Let me actually go and grab my orange filament because before I go to Wally World, I need to get it set up. You'll hear a play, you're going to hear a play a song in a second. Because it plays a song when it turns on. Here we go. It's playing a little, playing a little song for you. This is the orange filament. This is the brand new stamp set. Um, I'll be live again tomorrow, Donna. This is the Stamp Club stamp set. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, this, yeah, this is the, um, um, Jerry, the markers, um, I talked about it at the beginning. I think you might've gotten here a little, little bit after. I'm waiting for, um, we got one box. It had 34 out of the 300, and I think, I think it was 381 boxes we were supposed to get, so we are still um, waiting. You should have gotten a call from um, Heather. Uh, if you have not gotten a call from Heather, um, she should be calling you soon, um, and we are just in a holding pattern right now. Um, I got it for my birthday. It is the Flash Forge Finder. A Flash Forge Finder. And I love it because the bed, Kara, actually levels um, automatically. 
So I was really glad that he, because I had seen people with horror stories about that. So I was so excited that um, that was something that was included. I was really, really excited about that because I've heard horror stories of people trying to get it to level. Yeah, I got, it is the Flash Forge Finder. All right, everyone. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember to grab yourself some goodies because you might just find a $100 gift card in your box. Also, if you purchase anything digital, you might just find a $100 gift card in your um, email. You never know. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Remember to create something every single day. Whether or not uh, that is your own 3D printed item, and I just realized I'm missing a cap, uh, your very own 3D printed item, or your own ending. Oh, that means I have to change out the filament. So thank you guys all so much for hanging out with me. Have a wonderful evening, and 